Well, good Tuesday morning to you, Snow Disciples. Rev Snowflake here with the Snow Church for February 7th, one week away from the Hallmark holiday. So you better get those boxes of candy and cards and give money to Hallmark. At any rate, our live video of the day, actually this one's not a it's a live still shot, I guess you could say. Um, slim, slim pickings today. Looking for snow. I could have gone out to Washington State, but it's still dark there. Um, and it actually might be raining up on top. Not on top of Mount Rainier, but it, the Rainier, um, uh, oh, National Park facilities that they have there. At any rate, we are in Indian River, Michigan. This cam courtesy of the Faye Martin Resort and uh, see their trail that runs along the road. Just like uh, many trails that run along the road, get some road grime into it, but still totally passable. They got another camera too here. And I believe this is sort of the trail. I've never been here, but um, this is the, uh, I think the Pelston Village cam. Uh, on Trail 7 in Pelston, Michigan. I don't know if there's any more. No, it looks like that's all the live cameras I've got at this location. But at any rate, it is actually snowing there. Um, very lightly, very lightly. I'll show you that in just a minute. Here are the 24-hour snows. About as expected. We had 1 to 2 inches from Duluth on down to the south and west. I don't know, towards, uh, I guess just south of Milox and then northern Wisconsin and the western UP getting kind of a dusting and then the eastern UP getting an inch or two. And if you're wondering where Indian River is, it's right here, almost at the very top of the mitt. Satellite radar, not satellite and radar, just plain old radar. This is why I would have hoped to have gotten to uh, Mount Rainier. I got a storm coming on, but uh, like I say, sometimes that's that's rain. Mount Rainier, at least not the top of Mount Rainier, but uh, down where they have the the buildings and where the road goes to. Really strange, you know. Dead of winter, they can be pouring rain there, and then a day later. Um, getting three feet of snow. Crazy, crazy, crazy place. Um, and as you can see, not a whole lot going on elsewhere across these great United States of America. Here's the little bit of very wet snow falling across far northern lower Michigan. Jump into the models, the models. European model. Uh, both the European model and the U.S. model upped the amounts with the Thursday event. And that event is to uh, impact central Wisconsin and the eastern UP most, the most significantly. But uh, other areas of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa will get it. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But not, not too much going on until we get to that Thursday storm. And here she comes. Look at that, folks. Not too shabby. Probably about 8 to 10 inches of snow there, just north of Madison. Um, up to about uh, probably Stevens Point. I don't think Wausau is going to be in the heavier snows, at least not based on this prognostication. But then we'll roll it on out and... Uh, Still not a whole lot to write home about until the very end of the period. We watch snows build in across the Dakotas, northern Minnesota, and the UP right there. And that is with a pretty strong storm that would be coming about the middle part of next week. Um, starting up in the Dakotas maybe late on Valentine's Day and finishing up or actually moving into the upper Midwest by uh, the 15th. The sad news is, is even where these snows fall, it could be some mixed precipitation 
And then south of that, ooh, the potential is for some pretty heavy rain. So long way out in the forecast. No reason to get your undies in a bunch just yet. But we'll for sure be keeping an eye on that system to make sure that it doesn't bring heavy rains to places like northern Wisconsin, maybe even the southern UP, and uh, central Wisconsin as well. Um, the GFS's interpretation of things. And here comes that Thursday storm. Is this a, yeah, it is the GFS. Um, pretty similar looking, maybe a little a little more timid on the snowfall amounts. But then it too is pretty quiet until we get to about uh, Wednesday of next week. And here it comes. Boink. Well, that's actually more like a Thursday event. And that's even kind of further north with that. Look at that 36 inches of snow in Bismarck, North Dakota. And then... Like I was talking about yesterday, you know, this next 10 days, other than the Thursday storm, which will be a, a meaningful storm for central Wisconsin and um, uh, the eastern UP, other than that storm, the next 10 days are really pretty quiet. But then there's this idea that, you know, there'll be a parade of storms coming, dropping down into the southwest and then swinging their way up. And each one of them potentially bringing some significant snows. And that'll be highlighted here as I go through the rest of this model run. There's one and then uh, there's another one in there somewhere. But at any rate, um, that's kind of the going forecast. I'll keep it a little shorter for today. I know yesterday I got a little longer than I wanted to be and Sure seems like time flies when I do these things. So have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to keep your sticks on the ice. Have a smile on your face. And uh, you know, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. It'll make for a great day. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.